Did you hear the news? There are video games on sale right now on the Nintendo Switch eShop. Yes, I'm dead serious. Today we're going to highlight 12 games currently on sale on your Nintendo Switch eShop that I think you should check out. So sit back, relax, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the like button on the video and let's talk about some Nintendo Switch eShop sales. Now as usual, all of these games are currently on sale at the time of the filming of this video which happens to be October 19th. If for some reason you missed out on some of these sales, well, you should have had notifications turned on for my channel. But without any further ado, let's get into our first game. The first game we're going to talk about is going to be probably the most controversial game on this list, but the discount on it is very good, so I did want to mention it, and that is NBA 2K21, which is currently on sale on the Nintendo Switch for just $38.99. Now you guys are probably well aware if you're a longtime viewer of the channel I enjoy the NBA 2k series I think it's one of the best sports series out there but NBA 2k 21 definitely kind of left a sour taste in my mouth because of the fact that they changed the whole shooting mechanics of the game now since my initial review of this game they did update the shooting mechanics in the game and made it a bit easier and I have checked it out since those patches came out and I will say that it is a better experience than it was on day one for NBA 2k 21 but still I do wish that it was stored of the old style of shot stick mechanics that we had in the original games instead of changing it essentially to a dribble stick now with all that being said nba 2k 21 is still the only basketball game in town and of course with the nba season just wrapping up and the draft and trades coming and things like that obviously the rosters for a game like nba 2k 20 are no longer going to be updated so if you plan on playing a basketball game in the year of 2021 you're gonna want to get nba 2k 2021 to get the best rosters available now this game like I said is available for $38.99 that is a pretty cheap discount over the $60 that it released at and I think if you're an NBA fan I think they will continually update this game to make it a better experience it's still a lot of fun on the Nintendo switch but I just personally wish that the shot stick had been adjusted Next up, we have the one game that you must absolutely buy. It's a game that we've talked about a bunch on this channel, and I will always talk about this game because it is awesome and it kicks ass. And that is Ghostbusters, the video game remastered, and it is currently on sale for the lowest I have ever seen it at $7.49. Even if you're not a hardcore Ghostbusters fan, this is a fantastic game with fantastic writing and really, really fun gameplay. The graphics on the game look very well done as well, whether you're playing it in docked or handheld mode. There's a a lot of destructible environments there's a lot of fun ghosts to capture as well and if you are a fan of Ghostbusters I don't understand why you don't own this game because it is essentially the third Ghostbusters movie with the original cast reprising their roles in this game it's an absolutely spectacular experience I bought the game physically and digitally and at seven dollars and 49 cents you really owe it to yourself to buy this game not the longest game in the world to take you anywhere from six to eight hours or so to complete it but it's definitely a game worth experiencing Next up, we have Burnout Paradise Remastered, which released at too high of a price point on the Nintendo Switch, is now on sale for $34.99, and I think at that price point, it's definitely worth checking out this game. If you've never played Burnout series before, Burnout Paradise kind of changes things up, whereas the original Burnout games were more track-driven stuff, Burnout Paradise was actually an open-world style game, and Burnout Paradise Remastered features lots of additions to the original game, such as all of the DLC included in it and redone visuals. The game looks and runs very well on the Nintendo Switch. It's still a blast to play. It just sort of came out at too high of a price point at $50 when it originally released. I think $34.99 is very reasonable for this game, and if you're a fan of racing games, you're going to have a lot of fun with this game. Walking simulators aren't really my style of game, but one that was actually really good was What Remains of Edith Finch, and this game is currently on sale on the Nintendo Switch for just $9.99. And yes, it is a walking simulator style game, but the story itself is actually pretty cool. Edith returns to her family's home off of the coast of Washington and learns about her relatives and their deaths by visiting their bedroom. And it's just a really strange game, but I like the way the story plays out, and it's a pretty emotional story. There are sort of little elements of the game where you actually do something a little bit more than just walk around but for the most part it's more about the atmosphere and the experience that you have with this game but like I said I think it's very well done the Nintendo Switch version of the game looks absolutely gorgeous as well so if you're a fan of just slower style games and just story driven games I think what remains of Edith Finch at just $9.99 is definitely worth checking out 
90s kids might remember the controversial PC game Postal. Well, Postal Redo, Redux, I never know how to say that, is currently available on the Nintendo Switch for just $8.99. And this game actually just came out. I picked it up a few days ago because I have sort of fond memories of the original Postal, playing it over at a friend's house on his PC. And yes, it's definitely a very controversial style game. If you remember the game Hatred that came out a couple years ago that everyone was up in arms about, well, Postal was essentially Hatred before Hatred was a thing. You play as a character and you just go around sort of killing people in a top-down style and it, is, it plays out as a twin stick shooter. You get a bunch of different weapons and stuff. It's sort of just pick up and play fun. You know, you kind of got to have a sick and twisted mindset in order to enjoy the game. But if you look at it just from a game perspective and you're like, yeah, this isn't real life. You know, this is just a video game. It is sort of fun. There's a lot of additional DLC that is included in the game as well. You can do all sorts of different filters for the uh, graphical style of the game. And I don't know, I've just been having a lot of fun with this game. It's a very mindless game, but sometimes it's fun to unwind with a mindless game. Like I said, Postal Redo, Redux, who the hell knows how to say it, is available for $8.99 on your Nintendo Switch. Oceanhorn 2 is definitely a game I'm looking forward to that's coming out at the end of October, but if you haven't played the original Oceanhorn, now is a great time to check it out because it's on sale for just $7.49. Now while Oceanhorn 2 is more of a 3D style Zelda game, Oceanhorn the original game is more of a top-down Zelda style game. It really plays a lot like A Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, and I think that's a good thing. The maps themselves aren't all that big in comparison to that, but I do think it has a very fun game and it's just $7.49 it's worth checking out. It came out pretty early in the Nintendo Switch's life cycle, so if you want sort of a refresher into the Oceanhorn universe, definitely check out the original game that's on sale for $7.49 right now. Another EA game besides Burnout Paradise Remastered that's on sale on the Nintendo Switch right now is Unraveled 2 at just $4.99. And honestly, I like this game. I played it when it originally came out on the Nintendo Switch. I thought the first Unravel game was pretty fun, and this is a pretty fun game as well. It's basically a puzzle platformer in which you are using yarn in order to traverse different areas. You have two characters that you can play as at once in order to solve puzzles, and there is local co-op play as well. The visuals in the game are pretty impressive. There's two different graphical modes, one that focuses on more detailed graphics and one that focuses more on performance based stuff and I really had a lot of fun with this game. It's not a super long game or anything like that, but if you have someone to play it with locally, I think it would be an even better experience. Unravel 2 is available for $4.99 and if you're a fan of puzzle platformers, you should probably check it out. I briefly want to mention this next game because I've talked about it a million times, but the Bioshock collection, which consists of Bioshock, Bioshock 2, and Bioshock Infinite, is currently on sale on the Nintendo Switch for $39.99. It is a great compilation of games. All of these games are fantastic. Bioshock Infinite is definitely more of an action style game, whereas the first two games are more stealth style games, but they look great on the Nintendo Switch, they run great on the Nintendo Switch, and they're really games that should be in your Nintendo Switch library. If you haven't picked up the Bioshock, Shock collection. Like I said, you can get the whole collection right now for $39.99. Just make sure you have plenty of memory card room because these games are a bit sizable. But definitely very quality ports on the Nintendo Switch and just really fun games overall. The next game is a game that I have not played yet, but I do plan on picking it up, and that is Battle Princess Madeline Royal Edition, which is currently on sale for just $3.74. Now, the original Battle Princess Madeline was a game that came out, it was supposed to be like a ghouls and ghosts style game, but it really was more story driven than a lot of people were anticipating. Whereas Battle Princess Madeline Royal Edition strips away most of the story elements from the original release of the game, instead focusing on a more ghouls and ghosts style arcade gameplay, which is what the developer originally wanted with the arcade mode. Levels have been redesigned and levels have been added to the game. Controls and attacks are now different. There's new music that's been added into the Royal Edition and there's even three new boss battles as well. Now one thing that is worth noting about Battle Princess Madeline Royal Edition is for some reason there's only a 4x3 mode. They got rid of the 16x9 mode that was in the original version of the game so that might sort of rub people the wrong way but obviously they wanted an old school style ghouls and ghost experience with the Royal Edition of Battle Princess Madeline. Like I said, this is available for $3.74, has beautiful sprite work that's done in it, and this is a game that I will be picking up because I never got around to playing this game. 
Here's another hot take game for you that nobody likes this game, but you know what? I do. I think it's a lot of fun, and that is Double Dragon 4. Double Dragon 4 is available for $3.50, and yes, when this game first came out on the PlayStation 4, I played it, and there was a lot of screen tearing, and I don't know, I wasn't really able to get into it, but then I ended up picking up the game on the Nintendo Switch when it was on sale once before for this price point, and you know what? I had a hell of a time playing this game. I think it's really fun. Yes, it is essentially the fourth Double Dragon game in terms of the NES series. Yes, it uses that same sort of 8-bit aesthetic that you saw in the first three Double Dragon games on the NES, but is that a bad thing? No, like, I think the gameplay is pretty fun. It's pretty challenging at times, but I think there's a lot of fun stuff in here. You can unlock a whole bunch of different characters to play as in this game. The music is really well done. It's not the best game in the world or anything like that, but it wasn't a $60 game. It was a budget game when it came out at like 10 bucks. So to see it on sale for $3.50, I think is a great deal and you know what if you are a company like limited run games or super rare games or any of these companies that are releasing physical Nintendo switch games put double dragon 4 physically on the Nintendo switch the people demand it well at least I demand it but yeah I like double dragon 4 three dollars and fifty cents you can't beat it and the final two games we're going to cover are perfect for the spooky season that we are currently in in the month of October. The first game we're going to talk about is a game called Hollow, which is available for $1.99. Now, I actually reviewed Hollow a long time ago, and come to think of it, I actually enjoyed this game. It's, it's been quite a while since I've played it, so I did need a bit of a refresher for myself. But basically, you start out, you're on a ship, you don't know how you got there, or why you are there, or what you are doing there. The story starts out pretty slow in the game, but eventually you meet a character who sort of fills in the backstory for you and tells you what's going on and that's where things get pretty interesting it's definitely a slower paced game there's a lot of puzzle solving and stuff but there is combat in the game which is something that you don't really see a lot in modern horror games and I think the combat is pretty solid for the most part and the game isn't really super long or anything like that it's like a five hour game or so but I think the graphics are pretty nice and I think the game itself is a fun game it's definitely sort of scary you definitely get some jump scares within the game and I think it's just a very solid game overall Overall. not one of the greatest horror games of all time or anything like that but at a dollar 99 if you haven't checked it out and you are a fan of horror games definitely something worth checking out and the final game is perception which is a game we just talked about a couple days ago on the channel that is also available for a dollar 99 cents now this is yet another horror game this is definitely more of a walking simulator style horror game but I'd like the whole mechanic of this game where you play as someone who is blind and you have to tap your cane and use echoes in order to sort of visualize what is in front of you because I I think it adds a really interesting layer of gameplay to the game the story itself is very interesting you definitely want to get to the end of it and find out why this girl is so attracted to this mansion and why these spirits are trying to stop her from exploring this mansion and figuring out the secrets of it and whatnot and once again much like hollow it's not one of the greatest games of all time or anything like that but if you're looking for a horror game that you have not played on the nintendo switch it's just two dollars like you can't beat this sort of thing i definitely recommend both perception and hollow on the nintendo switch i did full reviews of of both of these games on the channel so make sure you search for those just type in like hollow rgt and it'll probably pop up and you can see my full thoughts on the game but i definitely recommend checking out both of these games at just a dollar and 99 cents all right so that is going to do it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it be sure to let me know what you think of my picks in the comments section down below are you an anti double dragon 4 person like many people are or do you sort of see the charm in the game like i managed to do it and do you plan on picking up any of these games like i said i'm about to go pick up battle princess madeline royal edition because i, I never played it and i want to play it and at three dollars and 74 cents it seems like a good deal and as always guys thank you for checking out this video like i said at the start if you are new to the channel make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications check out other videos on the channel as well and as always i'll catch you guys on the next one later